them, well, how do you include those other perspectives? How do you include their wants, their needs, their pains, which is how a product gets sold, right? And so diversity yeah, and inclusion. Yeah, how can you develop? How can you develop the product if you haven't got people that understand the, the, the differences of how to develop? You've only got one mindset. It's, it's actually quite narrow-minded, isn't it? If you think it about is, it, audience, yeah. it's quite narrow-minded. Actually, you're just going, yeah, I'm just, I'm just going to do this. But actually what you could be doing is you could be doing this. And that, that for me is where it opens up completely. Someone to, sorry to interact with you. Yeah, but, but more, but more importantly, I think, yeah, more importantly, it's also taking a data-driven approach and understanding, you know, who your workforce is, who your audience is, who your customers are, and beginning to, uh, you know, develop products for them. So, you know, those audiences can see themselves in them. And, and you know, one of the, one of the neglected areas of DEI is uh, representation or, as we refer to in our organisation, mutuality. And the genesis of that idea was one of the, uh, the principles of uh, thermodynamics, uh, one of the laws of equitable varieties, which basically states if any system is not as equally as varied as the environment it's operating in, it will, it will create tension and probably eventually disappear. National corporations now, and we've done a bit of work with the BMW World Group, which recognises the minorities are going to become the majority and they've been tailoring all their uh, products and all their marketing uh, and as well as all their supplies out there to make sure that they are really reflective of the whole community that they're working um, uh, in.